Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Now, the last thing I want to talk to you is a new thing, new activity that we have started very recently, just last year. Okay. Uh, any idea about what is meant by biomimetic? Bio is nature, <coughs> mimetic is imitation. So, this is rest, this is imitation of nature. So, we first look at some existing biomimetic system. We are departing now from the current trend. Everything that you saw so far was our video. This will be the first video which is not my video. This is a video of uh, a company called Festo, which uh, is outstanding in the implementation of biomimetic systems. They have made a flying fish, they have made a flying bird, all kinds of animals they make them fly in their fire. This is the airship, a biomimetic, biomimetic airship. So what we do here is propulsive force is generated not by an engine but by the forward force created due to flapping of the tail. And the flapping of the tail is the country career. Now these are some uh, demonstrations. <laughs> Okay. These are some demonstrations of flying fish. We also have some very interesting systems such as this outdoor system. This is a multi segment airship or segmented airship. So it has a front fixed balloon and everything else is flexible. So you don't need a tail. The airship can align with the wind direction and distort itself. So the load which comes because of side load is just transferred in deflecting of the surface. Some call it as a flying worm, flying snake, whatever. But you can see this is a very interesting concept and it is outdoor, it is not just indoor. Okay, then there is also a very interesting, uh, now I will show you three more systems which are uh, by Festo on biomimetic uh, controls. Now what have we done? We talk about all this, we have also done something. Interesting thing is that uh, for a fish to fly or even to propel in water, the performance is affected a great deal by certain features like the fineness ratio, that is the length over the diameter and the swimming style. Okay. So you can see the performance. Now there are many fin shapes which are available. Each of these fin shapes is suitable for a particular application. You might like to have a fish which can remain at a particular place in a current of water that requires different fish. You might want a very fast flying fish in steady water. You may find a fish that can fly, which can fly or swim fast in turbulent water. All of that will uh, differ depending on what shape you use. Plus we also have the various types of swimming styles. In some like eel, the whole body is moving like in a curl fashion. In some just the tail is vibrating. In some the tail and the middle part of the body is moving. And uh, there is a particular uh, non-dimensional parameter called as a straw hall number. The straw hall number is a ratio of two forces like any other non-dimensional number. And uh, <clears throat> one important parameter is the frequency at which the tail vibrates with respect to the uh, parameters of the uh, fish. So we have attempted one small model of a biomimetic airship. So 
One of our students came for a six month internship funded by IRCC, the IRCC research internship and he was interested in biomimetic airships. So we discovered in the market a very, very special material called as nano, nano clay coated polyester. So it is polyester, so very lightweight and nano clay gives you ability to hold the helium gas. So the shape that we chose after several literature was the butterfly fish shape and uh, this is the tail on the top. And we have this small machine in our lab which can do heat sealing. So using heat sealing this airship was fabricated in our lab. Here is a picture of the fabricated airship and this blue thing on the bottom is basically a center of gravity control. So I can move it forward backward and then I can pitch the nose up or down. Let us see how it flies. This is a small demo we did in Bangalore, uh, sorry in Hyderabad. This is our biomimetic airship. You can see it goes to the corner and then beautifully maneuvers itself without hitting the corner. Such kind of maneuverability in tight corners is not possible for other airships or even smaller aircraft. So, if you want to have a system which is just doing this kind of flying in an enclosed area or even outdoor if the winds are manageable, this is also one good alternative. The propulsive forces needed are very less. Now, in this case, we have a servo motor for the flapping, but there are other ways of doing it. You can use special elastomeric systems which stretch and shrink, piezoelectric systems. You can use something like that. This is a very nice open area of research and uh, it will be nice if somebody can attempt to make something like this.